Hello viewers, welcome to my channel at Easy Service, where I make service practices easier and educative. Here in this video, I will quickly show you an interesting thing that the AI does for me in RGIS Pro. Recently, I have started a series on AI GIS mapping. So please, if you are just joining me on the first time on this channel, do well to check under the video description to see previous videos that is very informative in the geospatial industry. So let's get started. In case you do not know how to download and install this DeepSeek app, you can check under the comment section to see the video on how to do that freely. So I will be generating a land surface temperature of a particular region in Nigeria. You can as well as use any region of interest in your own case. All right, so you can type your question the way you are seeing on the screen. So what I want to generate is a land surface temperature map. So I'm asking the DeepSeek AI to generate an ArcPy script for me. So this is how the question goes. Could you provide an ArcPy script that will provide the land surface temperature map from Landsat 8 imagery that will show results in my ArcGIS Pro? So this is how I asked the question. So you can type the question this way, then you click on send. You wait for a while, it is going to generate an ArcPy script that you have to copy and paste in your ArcGIS work environment. So it is already generating that for us. Therefore guys, it is done generating the ArcPy scripts for me to copy and paste in my ArcPy Python work environment in ArcGIS Pro. So you can choose to scroll down, you are going to see the explanation that the first thing the DeepSeek AI is going to calculate is the NDVI, then the land surface emissivity, the TOA radiance, all right, which converts the thermal band and turn from DN to TOA radiance, brightness temperature, then lastly the land surface temperature which is of interest. So if you are to do this manually in ArcGIS Pro or ArcMap, you are going to take a lot of time and it requires a lot of process. But the beauty and interesting thing is that this AI has automated all processes in one step for us. So what you have to do is to minimize, then you open your ArcGIS Pro software. Then you create a new project by coming to map. Already I have a project I am working on so I'm just going to open my existing project. So you make sure your system is connected to an active internet before you start anything even on the DeepSeek AI app. Alright. So here is my work environment. Then you are to add your primary data which is in this case is Landsat imagery. Remember the question was to provide Land surface temperature from Landsat 8 imagery. So you are expected to have your data ready in a folder. So I already have my folder and the data are saved inside of it. So you can see the bands of interest as required by the DeepSeek AI is three bands. So you are going to see it listed. So I have band 10, band 4, and 5. So these are the bands of interest as you can see here 10, 4, 5. Therefore, you are expected to download and save it in a folder, the bands of interest. So you can use the USGS Earth Explorer to download that. All right. Therefore, you come to your ArcGIS Pro, then you right click on the map layer, then you click on add data. Then you navigate to the folder where you have your uh, data saved, which is the primary data, the Landsat imagery. All right. Then you add the three set of data simultaneously. If you see this, you click on yes. So these are the set of data I am having already, band 10, 5 and 4 respectively, as required by the DeepSeek AI. If there are other bands that is of interest, you are going to see it. If you are using Landsat 5, the bands is going to be different, all right? as well as other parameters that you are going to be needing, they will be different, okay? So I'm just going to show you how to edit all that as we forge ahead. 
all right so you add your data in the arcgis pro then you come to analysis you come to python you click on the drop down shadow arrow here then you click on python notebook a new window will be open beside your map then you are now going to come back to your deepseek ai you copy the archive scripts generated you minimize then you come to the beeping space bar here you right click then you paste the archive script all right so you follow this procedure carefully now all right so you can choose to edit this constant all right so like i said earlier if you are using landsat 5 this constant will be different then you are going to edit it edit the k2 as well so the first thing is going to generate for you is the ndvi then the next thing is, is going to calculate the uh, lce which is the land surface emissivity all right then you are going to see the parameters all right you can choose to edit these parameters values based on your interest then the pv is going to be generated as well as the conversion from dn to toa radiance then the fourth step is to convert the toa radiance to brightness temperature then lastly it is going to calculate and show you the land surface temperature map is going to generate that for you so all these values are editable based on your interest then you should note that the land surface temperature values is going to be in degrees Celsius and that is the beauty of all this that the AI has done for us so all conversion has been made and is in degrees session so that's that then you have to follow this carefully so your land sat folder is expected to be copied the path to your land sat folder is expected to be copied and pasted here so this is what you are supposed to do so you minimize you come to your folder where you have your data okay here is the folder then you click on this particular space here you are going to see that the part is highlighted if yours is not highlighted you highlight by clicking on ctrl a then you copy then you copy the part where the landsat data the folder where it is saved then you minimize you come back to the rgis pro then you edit this part to your landsat folder to the particular landsat folder you just copied earlier so i'm just going to copy and paste my by clicking on ctrl v so you can see that is the part where i have my landsat data which is the landsat folder all right then the lastly the output folder where i want all these results i stated earlier to be saved and generated under so i have created a new folder which you can see it is empty and it's on my desktop as results so you open the folder you click on this empty space you are going to see the part highlighted you copy it as well you close it come to your uh, arcgis pro then you edit it to the particular parts then you paste it there so you can see these are the parts of interest firstly the folder of the lancer data then lastly the folder of the results where i want my result to be generated and saved into all right then the next thing is to copy the file name you have under your map layer then paste it at the respective bands all right so this is what i made you come to your layer so i have band 10 here b10 b5 then b4 so the first thing is to copy the file name of the band 10 which you have to click on the file name on your map layer you right click come to properties if yours is not on general maybe it's on source you come to general then you highlight this file name here you do not need to edit anything just copy it highlight then ctrl c to copy then you close this then you edit it from this slash to the last extension then you paste the file name all right then you do for the band 4 all right you can see here is b4 click on it you right click come to properties highlight this then you copy it then here you edit it to the file extension name so you can see then lastly the band 5 properties I like to copy then paste all right and that is all you have to do in the addicting under your new notebook of the archpy work environment other things can remain as default except you have 
your particular parameters you want to edit so all these things are editable based on what you want okay so for last start eight constant this is k1 this is k2 and that is what it should be so in case you have generated your own act by script here and it is quite different from what you are seeing on the screen please i'm going to copy this particular act by script then paste it under the video description so that you can copy and make use of it in the course of your own practice do you all understand thank you and if you have watched the video to this extent do well to hit on the subscribe icon and give you to share so that it can reach a wide range of people that they can be having an easy ride in their mapping analysis using ArcGIS Pro thank you so that is all in the course of the ArcPy script then you click on run all right you click on run so therefore you are going to wait for a while because it is doing a whole lot of calculation at the background so this particular mapping the generation of land surface temperature can actually take up to 30 minutes if you are doing it manually but using ai automation you can generate it in less than two minutes then you can now see it it is loading the results if you check under your map layer you are going to see all results generated then you can come to map you wait for a while as you can see it is still loading so guys you can see it is generating all results so the first thing here is lst which is the land surface temperature the next thing is the brightness temperature the next thing is the toa radiance all right then the next thing is the lce which is the land surface emissivity then the next thing is the pv the next thing is the ndvi then the nir then lastly the red so these are the last side data we use you can uncheck all that all right then you can now scroll to the map of interest which is the l so I'm just going to uncheck other uh, data that is not of interest so you can actually run the NDVI using the uh, AI as well so you can see so easy and straightforward all right so I'm just going to uncheck all that to leave the land surface temperature LST okay so let me change the color ramp by clicking on the color here you come to color scheme and you scroll down then I'm just going to use this all right then close the symbology so guys that is just it so i'm going to load a base map to see the region i have just generated the land surface temperature for like i said make sure your system is connected to an active internet then to load the base map you come to map you do not need to use the ai to generate that there's a default tool for that so you can see on that base map it is going to load different kind of base map so i'm just going to use the imagery high bridge Therefore, guys, you can see the region I cover in the course of this uh, land surface temperature map is Enugu to some extent, Oweri to some large extent, then other parts of the eastern part of Nigeria. So you can choose to download other data of other region in your own country, maybe the United States, maybe Canada or whatsoever, to map for surface temperature of your region to have better idea of which region will be expressing high temperatures and low temperatures so there are a lot of factors that causes that population causes that if there are very high population in a region they tend to experience high surface temperature why industrial places as well so you can see over here this is a particular local government in Imo state so you can see here this is over a municipal all right so you can see that this place is expressing high temperature very crazy you can as well check other region as well so this is Aba, Aba, yeah, Asia mine Aba so they are experiencing high surface temperature as well that's pretty much alright but it's not as crazy as Overe then these are other regions as well alright so this is Isiama or Hafia so you can see this is the beauty of using AI so you can see I can automate land surface temperature generate for different regions in less than 5 minutes so guys that's the beauty of using ai in mapping all right so if you find this video helpful and uh, informative 
do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on the notification bell to keep getting valuable up-to-date tutorial from this channel freely. Thank you. See you in the next video.